I'm Stephanie and you're watching My Stephanie's. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the birthday goodies that I got for myself over the past few weeks and um, some of them are gifts and presents from my friends and some of them I bought myself. So some stuff are from Sephora over here, some stuff are from the US and some stuff are from my Bali trip and Forever 21 as well. So if you want to know what I got then stay tuned. So first up I will be sharing with you the stuff that I got from the US. So I ordered these things online like normal shopping online would do and I shipped them to my friend's apartment in New York because she's currently there for her exchange studies and her boyfriend was visiting so he could bring back these goodies for me so I didn't have to pay any shipping so that was great. Um, thank you so much Kat and Bing for um, going through the trouble to receive these gifts for me and bringing them back to Singapore. So the first thing I got were from Pretty and Cute and these are the new Holika Holika Aqua Petite range and I got the Aqua Petite CC base and I'm excited to try this out. It has SPF 32 with PA++. Um, I absolutely loved the Holika Holika Aqua Petite Jelly BB Cream so I'm excited to try and see how the CC cream will turn out. And let me know if you want me to do a review on any of the products that I'll be going through today. So if you open the box it looks kind of like this and a really cute tube and I like how they package all their new products um, in these polka dot designed tubies. It's just really adorable. So yeah, I'm excited to try that out. Um, also from the Echo Petite Jelly range, um, from Holika and Holika, I got the watery cheek stains. So I'm excited to try all these out. I got the color 2, um, 5 and 1. So I'm not sure, I can't read Korean, so I'm not sure exactly what the names of these colors are, but it's two, five, and one. The next thing I got from Ulta um, were these Maybelline Age Rewind concealers, and I've heard so many good things. Um, so many YouTube people were raving about this, so I had to get my hands on one of these the moment I heard that someone could bring it back for me from the US, because it's ridiculous to pay so much for shipping when these cost really cheap. These were like four dollars and I didn't have to pay any shipping so it was really great. Um, I got uh, two shades, one in light and one in medium. Yep, so this is light and this is medium and I'm excited to try this out. I have seen so many people use it on YouTube. I think it's really great um, when I see it on other people so I hope it will work for me as well. And then finally from the US, um, Dale actually got this as a surprise gift for me and he got Bing um, to get it for me and it's the Hula bronzer from Benefit so I'm so excited to try this out. Um, funny story, I actually got Sephora vouchers from my friends, it looks like this. I think you've seen a lot of people on YouTube use this so I'm glad that I finally got a chance to try it. So yeah, back to the funny story, um, I'll, my friends actually got me Sephora vouchers to shop for my birthday present and I actually got this for myself um, until when Bing came back from the US and then he passed the presents to me and Dale was like oh my god you got it for yourself because because my friend actually got it for you as a gift from me so I was like oh shit like I have two Hula bronzers what was I gonna do with them right so I went back to Sephora if some of you don't know yet in Singapore Sephora now has the exchange and refund within 40 days 14 days um, policy so you could do that so I went to Sephora and instead of the Hula I exchanged it for the Coralista I'm really glad that I managed to get these two blush and bronzers from Benefit and Finally, from Sephora, I also picked up something that I've been wanting for the longest time. It's the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyeliners and I tried it in the store many, many times. Every time I go to Sephora, I try it and I always never take it because it's just really expensive and um, I still had my Lancome and Maybelline ones so I didn't want to spend extra on something that I didn't need but now that my Lancome art liner is running out I thought I would finally pick this up for myself. 
Uh, moving on, I'm going to show you the stuff that I got from Forever 21. So I'm going to start off by showing you the accessories I got from Forever 21 first. Um, I got this necklace. It's a light pastel coral color. It's really gorgeous and it has a gold chain attached to it. So it's really nice. It's easy to match with a lot of outfits and a statement necklace is really all you need to glam up any dress that you're wearing. Another necklace I got for myself is this gorgeous mint green beaded necklace. Um, I took lots of photos on Instagram with this when I was in Bali and I just paired it with my white tank top and my mint green shorts. A lot of people commented on it on how gorgeous it looked and to be honest it was such a good deal so I had to pick it up. It comes with this really nice um, gold chain as well and it has like really nice studs at the bottom so I really love it and it's great to glam up anything that you're wearing even with beach wear. So then I also got myself um, two bunches of earrings. Um, they're all studs and heart shapes. I love heart shapes. Um, this one is hot pink and turquoise blue heart shape studs and this one is a cupid's arrow with a outline of a gold heart and a normal standard crystal stud so I absolutely love these earrings and they were so cheap moving on to the clothes you can see here I have this huge bag I'm going to go through them one by one so first up I actually already wore this to Bali um, I didn't have a time to video this haul before so this is collective um, it's a really nice ombre denim loose top where it's cropped and you tie it up at the bottom so I absolutely love this blouse I will show you a picture here on how I wore it in Bali I also got myself this floral boob tube um, I hardly wear boob tubes inside so when I saw this um, on discount I decided to pick it up because it was my size and I'm really small so it's hard to find my size these days um, there was my size and it was really colorful and I love floral patterns and then I also got myself um, this really nice high-low coral colored skirt. A lot of my stuff that I got were the blue or coral colors. I don't know why. But yeah, it's a really nice high-low skirt and I'm excited to wear it. And then I got myself these acid wash denim elastic shorts so they're not denim but they're really soft and they look like acid wash denim so I absolutely love these I saw them on the shelf and I knew I had to pick them up bear in mind that everything I got here had a discount of like almost half price and then I got myself a simple blue t-shirt um, the material feels really great um, I'm not sure if the color is showing up correctly on camera but it's actually more of a lilac blue like it, it has a purple tinge to it um it's a sky blue and i absolutely love it i can wear this to teach dance um another loose t-shirt i got was this faded thin cotton top and it's really nice i like how this side looks very vintage and it's really lightweight and thin so it's great for hot weather and then, I'm not ending anytime soon yet, um, I got myself this really edgy eagle studded loose tank top with a large armhole here. So I'm excited to wear this whenever I dance hip hop. Um, if any of the Black Hawk people are watching, you guys know who you are. This is for you. I will wear this at your dance rehearsals. And I also got myself this cray cray top. It's a tank top with a large armhole at side as well. And it's just a cray, it just says cray cray um, in gold. So a lot of silly tops that I got that were really cheap and I thought I could wear them, you know, to work. I also got this silly singlet, it says come to the dark side, um, Forever 21 was having a lot of those Star Wars themed tops so this was the only one I saw that was cute and I was going to wear this for Deo because he loves Star Wars and I thought I would surprise him with that. Um, I also got this sky blue 
shawl that was really nice. I don't have this color shawl yet, so I thought I would pick it up. And it was cheap. I cannot begin to express how cheap they were. This was like really $9, um, and I got it for half the price. So yeah, and I got... This was my favorite buy of the entire loot. Um, it's a gold point T. It's a gold pointy studded um, denim vest, and it has silver studs here as well on the collar line. It's a mandarin collar top cut, and it comes with the spiky gold studs at the shoulders. So. I absolutely love this and I can't wait to wear this out because it's just so cool and it's so fun. It just, it could match anything right now this season. So, yep. That's all I got from my Forever 21 haul and now I'm going to move on to show you what I got for myself in Bali. When you're in Bali, um, a lot of things you can just buy and bargain down for a really cheap price and normally I slash the prices down uh, with the shopkeepers for like half the price and they would give it to you most of the time. If you plan a trip to Bali, do remember that when you shop, you can bargain um, the price down a lot especially if you get more than one item from that shop. So yep, yeah, the first thing I got was this really nice um, ombre blue to white dress and it's just a beach dress. And I absolutely love it. I can't wait to wear it. And then I also got myself these really cute Vans shades. Of course, they are not real. They are fake shades, but they work well and they do the trick in making you look cool. And the thing I love about it is that it comes in so many different colors um, for the handles. And I absolutely love that these are the colors I picked out for myself and Deo. It's a mint green one. A light pink one and a royal blue one and I bought another five more for my guy friends to split amongst themselves and guess how much these were like I got these from two different shops and each of them cost like less than five dollars so it's a really great bargain I mean they may not be real but they look really decent and they test out well under the sun so they're really great and then I also got for myself these really cool pair of purple ombre round shades and it's fake ribbons, or apparently it says so and these are how they look like. They are so adorable, I can't wait to wear them out. And then I also got myself a lot of stuff from Strawberry and I believe that's how you pronounce it in Indo. Um, Strawberry is a shop along Kuta Square and they sell so many cute accessories for girls. Um, I bought myself these bow hair ties and I got some for my friends as well. So um, they haven't picked theirs out yet. So they're really, really cheap. They're all like less than a dollar each. And then I also got myself these amazingly cute rings and they are like 50 cents and it's a mint green one and a pale pastel yellow one they're so cute and they have a crystal stuck in the center and they're just nice little flower rings i also got some bracelets uh, most of them were for friends but some of them um, i'm already wearing on my ankle right now just like an abundant supply of these bracelets so I mean, don't just stop at the first shop that you go to, bargain your way and then like maybe the next shop might have a wider selection of colors and charms and you might just regret getting it from the first shop that you went to. So just take your time and walk down Kuta or, you know, anywhere in Bali would have these. So I got some for my friends to choose as well. And I also got these really cheap and cute headbands look at how many i got these were all like one for one so i only paid for like the price of six and i got 12 and i decided to give um half of these away to my dance friends and i'll be seeing you guys soon you guys get to choose which ones you want um so yeah i got like a peach polka dotted one a gray and pink polka dotted one pink and blue heart shapes um, and some floral ones as well. So they're really great headbands and it's really nifty to have these and I'm excited to give these to my friends.
And then, finally, my favorite thing I got from this strawberry shop was this headband. And you can see in the picture here that I'm actually wearing it. Um, I wore this already in Bali for Deo's birthday dinner. And it's just such a gorgeous headband. Um, it came in many pastel colors, but this was the only one that I liked. Um, it's coral pink with a um, mint green center. So I absolutely love it. Um, it's a crochet headband. And they don't sell this in Singapore. I don't see this in Singapore, so I had to pick it up. Oh dear, and I almost forgot to mention that behind me here is one of the favorite things I got from Bali. It's actually to decorate my room and I haven't had an idea on where to put it yet, so I just put it behind me in this video. Um, it comes with a really nice pink heart here and bells, so it's really cute. I got this because um, these flags actually represent Bali. And um, if you walk along the beaches or hotels, you would see that a lot of hotels actually use this, use these flags to like decorate the beach clubs and their deck chairs along the beach. You know, I, I think it's a Bali thing. I'm not sure what it symbolizes. If any of you are from Bali and watching this, do let me know what these flags represent because they're really cute and I like seeing them um, when the boats go past. Those are all the things I got from my Bali trip. Um, let me know in the comment boxes below if you'd like to see some of the Bali footages that I took. I didn't exactly do a vlog on it because um, I was doing activities and water sports most of the time so I didn't want to bring my camera along with me and I didn't have an underwater camera. Some of the underwater footage um, we actually had to rent an underwater camera which was really expensive so yeah let me know if you'd like to see some of the pictures and footages of stuff that we did in Bali and I might just put that up for you guys. Oh I almost forgot. This flower crown was from Sasien. She made it for me. And um, this was an awesome present. This was like my favorite present from the lovelies. Or actually it was from Jane's mom. Jane's mom made this. Um, there's a video here of her on how she actually used calligraphy to write this for me. And so the Chinese words here actually say, Yo ni ta yo woman. And that actually means that um, only with me around then um, my friends actually do exist or something like that. So step exists, hence friends exist. Um, it's kind of like their way of saying thank you to me for bringing the group together maybe, I don't know. But I absolutely love these friends and this is a perfect present. I put it at my bedside. Um, also, I almost forgot to mention this was a really cute present and lovely surprise from some of the cast members in my dance group. Um, I can't mention who they are yet but you guys know who you are and if you're watching, thank you so much. It was such a great surprise and it really touched me and if you press this button, you can hear them singing happy birthday for me. <laughs> forgot to mention that Deo actually got me more things. Um, he actually got me this bouquet of roses here and he surprised me with these even though I got home really late on my actual birthday itself. Um, these were waiting for me when I got home. He also made me this really amazing nail polish holder that fits perfectly in my drawers and fits all my nail polishes perfectly and all he did was cut out little cubes from a sponge and he did it himself. It's, it was a lot of effort on his part really. Um, I've never seen him do anything for me like that and he surprised me by just putting it into my drawer and putting all my little nail polishes inside and I opened my drawer that day to paint my nails and I was really shocked. I was like since when did this appear and it was just really touching to receive such lovely sweet surprises from him so thank you so much Deo, I love you so much and from his sister I received a birthday surprise also um, I got this in the parcel in the morning, she shipped this from Indo and it's the Lumina Lacquer um, nail polishes, they're really gorgeous um, this is Weekend with Aria and Walking on a Dream I absolutely love Walking on a Dream, I think it's my favourite so far um, it's just so gorgeous. They're little nail art shiny glitter particles inside. So I absolutely love these. I can't wait to try them out. 
Thank you so much, Dei, for giving these to me. This concludes my birthday haul. I'm sorry this took really long because I just wanted to cram everything together. I didn't want to do it in separate videos. It would just take forever and yeah, I don't really have a lot of time these few days. So I'm glad I finally got around to doing this and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do ask me anything you need on any of the products that I got and mentioned in this video down in the comment boxes below. Thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel for more and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!